My name is Alana and I love frozen yogurt. I love self-serve places the most and I'm going to teach you today how to make the perfect frozen yogurt at a self-serve location. The important thing to do first is to take a sampler cup or two or three depending on how many you need and select the flavor. Press down really hard on the handle to make sure that you get the perfect amount of yogurt in your cup. Once you get the sample, taste them all to see which ones you like the most. You can choose as many flavors as you want, but I would recommend picking only two or three because you don't want the flavors to overpower each other. Then, once you've filled up your cup, I recommend doing it about a third of the way so you have room for as much, many toppings as you'd like. You move over into the topping station. Here you can get anything from cereal to nuts. I personally like putting almonds on mine, and so I'll get a couple of those, and you can, but you can get any, as many as you want any kind of flavor, any kind of cereal, any kind of nut, any kind of candy that you'd like. You move on next to a different table that's more refrigerated. There's m more chocolate options there, so you, but you don't want to put too much chocolate in your cup. So you pick whatever ones you want. I like the little dark chocolate morsels the best, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> then you can move on to the fruit. Don't do too much. The fruit can get really heavy, and since this is a place that charges based on the pound, you don't want to overpower with the fruit. Go over and put some liquid toppings to top off your froyo. I personally am not the biggest fan of liquid toppings. However, if you want some, there's a great selection. There's hot fudge, butterscotch, and a few more. And then at the end, make sure you grab a spoon or a top if you're taking it for the road, and then you weigh your froyo. The cashier will weigh your froyo for you, and then tell you how much it costs. Pay for your froyo and enjoy.